What's up guys? In this video What's up guys? Just wanted to make a quick video about something I seen the other day on the internet and I think you might find quite interesting. Now before I get to that Before I get to that, I'd just like to thank everybody that subscribed to my channel over the last month or so. You know, I've more than doubled the subscribers I had. And, you know, I'm quite grateful for that. However, I still want to get quite a few more. You know, as I've been saying, I want to try and get to the thousands before the end of the year. And I think now I'm on about 64 subscribers. Which, if you remember, say six weeks ago, when I started like really pushing to try and get subscribers, I had 24 I think or 25. So I've done pretty well I think. Just need that extra push. So if you're all watching this, remember please subscribe. There's many more videos. I know they have been a little bit infrequent lately. But hopefully that'll change. That's down to basically just the situation with work. Now onto the topic of the video. Um, about two weeks ago, I read a story about a man from Langollen who broke the British land speed record getting from John O'Groats to Land's End. Now, I think the previous record, now it's been a while since I read this, so off the top of my head, the previous record was set in something like 1986 or 1987 on a motorbike. And it was 11 hours and something. It was over 11 hours anyway. Whereas these two people managed to do it. I think it was last year or the beginning of this year. In just over nine and a half hours. I think it was nine hours and 40 minutes, something like that. Which turns out to be an average speed of 90 miles an hour from Land's End to John O'Groats. And ever since this news has came out of the achievement, there's been loads of people and all these road safety campaigns calling for them to be prosecuted. Now they're all saying that you know it's incredibly dangerous what he's done doing 90 miles an hour down the motorway you know he should have his license taken away he should be fined he should be put in prison all that nonsense now correct me if i'm wrong but most people tend to do 90 miles an hour on the motorway anyway no there's not many people that actually stick to 70. But the thing which is good about it, I say good, the thing which I make, the thing that I feel makes it a little less bad was when he done it. He started at, I'm not sure where he actually started, but that doesn't really matter. But he started at, um, sorry. Yeah, he started at about 8 o'clock in the evening. So it'll be a run right through the night. So straight off the bat, he's chose the safest time that he could do it. You know, a lot less traffic on the road. Driving through the middle of the night, you don't see much traffic anyway. But he basically timed it so that he was getting through the worst part at stupid o'clock in the morning. I think he said the 
first part of the journey was sort of around between Liverpool, Manchester and um, Birmingham. But I think that's an incredible achievement. So I just wanted to make this video so, so I can sort of tell you about it. You know, the information is online, you can go and check it out if you want. But I just wanted to know what you thought of this. So put in the comments what you think, whether he should be prosecuted. Or considering he was never actually caught by the police doing these things. So speeding, you know, that sort of stuff. Whether it should just be swept under the rug, so to speak. But one of the things well had, which while it's not very impressive, is the only thing to go faster from Land's End to John the Groats was a fighter jet. Now, yeah, that's a plane, doesn't have to stop at lights, does several hundred miles an hour. So yeah, you can expect that there. But using the roads, doing it in less than 10 hours, he wanted to be 10 hours, but let's be honest, he smashed 10 hours. The chances of someone being able to do that again, pretty slim. They had the long range fuel tank, fitted to the car they used, they used an Audi. Yeah, I think it was an Audi 8. In fact, I'm not entirely sure what car it was, but it was definitely an Audi. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment box. Uh, I think it should just be let go, to be fair. You know, while he may have filmed it on his dash cam, you know, which some say that could be evidence, you know, he was never actually caught doing it. So, I'd say let him have the achievements. You know, it's a pretty good achievement, and he's done it in the safest way possible. And he even said himself, you know, he's not an idiot. If he had to, he'd slow down. If there was traffic, he was obviously going to slow down. You know, but while people say, well, if you're doing 90 miles an hour, how well, can you slow down in time if traffic's ahead? Well, let's be honest, as I've said, most people, or a lot of people, do that on the motorway anyway. In rush hour, or whenever they can, they're doing that speed. So it's no real big issue. So yeah, that's it. I've been Chris Dalton. Remember, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe for a lot more video content. Catch you on my next video. See you later and goodbye.